the thing that makes studying English literature at Hertfordshire very, very special is two words, flexibility and choice. You study everything from Renaissance lit all the way through to the 21st century. You study everything from literature of Native American Indians through to uh, obviously, you know, sort of young um, black urban culture in Britain today. Um, you do sci-fi, you do gothic fiction, everything in between. So it's flexibility and choice. What makes English literature particularly complement all the other humanities subjects that we study here at Hertfordshire is the fact that we're all studying culture essentially, whether it's poetry or novels, whether it's plays, whether it's film, whether it's about history, whether it's about philosophy, all of these are different aspects of this incredible thing that we're all interested in, which is culture. The way that we make the learning process fun and engaging in English literature is variety is the spice of life. So you'd be doing different sorts of activities in the classroom every single time you get in there. Some days it might be looking um, at a poem really close up. Other days you might be discussing a novel or even a whole series of novels together. Other days you might even be looking at paintings or, or visual culture in relation to the literature of the period. We often, our students, in terms of the website, there are further reading um, and guided questions that we can suggest to them. Um, and also they have the opportunity at any time to have tutorials, either one-to-one -one or in small groups, with their tutors, either to discuss their research or perhaps some forthcoming assignments. Um, our students are also able to go to something called Cumberland Lodge in Windsor, which is um, a sort of residential weekend that we take our students away for, and we do all kinds of amazing things. Um, and our students also are able to take part in work placement activities as well. The kinds of skills that make for the great English literature students, three things, curiosity, self-awareness, and a third thing which I'm going to call argumentativeness, by which I mean you want to engage in ideas, you want to discuss, you want to maybe argue about ideas, not just accept and swallow everything you get told.